Hi there, this is Conrad Blady from the Hutman Productions Traditional Foods Test Kitchens. Today's the 9th of June, Bladen Races Day, and I'm gonna cook for you Study Kick. Have a couple in the oven now. Here are the ingredients. Also known as bottom cake. Two compressed yeast cakes dissolved in a quarter cup of lukewarm water together with a teaspoon of sugar. One third cup shortening. Two tablespoons sugar. One teaspoon salt. Two cups scalded milk. One and three quarters cups water. Eleven to twelve cups sifted flour. You crumble the yeast into a bowl. Add lukewarm water and sugar and let it sort of get bubbly. Combine shortening tablespoon of sugar, salt to the mixing bowl and add the scalded milk in the water. Add the yeast mixture, gradually add the flour, mixing very thoroughly to make a stiff dough. Knead it for a good while. I have about four minutes on the dough hook. Brush it with shortening. Let it rise only once, about two hours to double. Shape the dough into round balls, plat flat down, pat it flat, and let it rise. They have about double in bulk. Then bake it at the bottom of the oven for 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then turn and bake for 15 longer at 375. The bottom of the oven is important. All right, now, here we go. Yeast has been made, so I'm gonna put the shortening, sugar, and salt in a mixing bowl. Adding the scalded milk and the water. I'm going to do that. I hope you can see it, but hey, if you don't, you'll see something. I don't know, but something. There we are. Maybe that'll be a view of me doing this task. So here it is. Yeast, sugar, salt, mixing bowl, water. Basically, the shortening. Shortening. This is easy. Right. Salt, sugar, yeast. Nice bubbly yeast. And right, we go in there. Right, lots of nice bubbly yeast. All right. All right, today, milk, scalded milk. Done in advance. All right, that's all in there floating around. Next, up with the mixer, very slowly, that shortening wants to flop about. Basically, that's all you do it, following the directions carefully, you see, it says combine sugar, salt, add the milk and water, add the yeast, add the flour. Well, you mix the flour in. Flour, I like to mix flour slowly, very slowly there. I got two study cakes in the oven right now. That's two in the oven. Got right, coming out in a minute. It says here 804. I think one's probably about done. Let's check it. There you go. One study kick. They have to have evidence of being cooked on both sides, as you can see, nice and golden brown. If you don't have them cooked on both sides, it didn't work. You gotta have a hole in the center too. The one's still on the bottom. But anyhow, did you see that study kick? Right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Ready for peas, pudding, and ham. So anyway, I mix it for a while, stop it, change to the paddle. Cut it to it, put the paddle in there, raise it up again and slowly add the flour. Mix it up a bit faster. The flour, I like that flour flying everywhere. Just mix it right up there. Turn it down as needed. There. That's nice and done mixed. You take it out, you use the dough hook, honey, for low speed, maybe three minutes. So I hope you're enjoying your Scotty Cake Recipe Presentation. Bladen Races Day 9th of June. Go out and celebrate the tune and drink a, a few of the brune. Celebrate the brune and the tune. So anyway, you can see
see the nice mixture is mixing. Once it coagulates into a ball, then I use a dough hook. But you can imagine that in your brain. So hopefully you get it right. The next thing is on the bottom of the oven, you have the study. Cook it on a baking stone. Not on the bottom of the oven today, it's too hot. Baking stone. So I'm gonna flip it. There it is on the first bake. It's a little pale. It's a little pale on the first bake. So we're gonna flip it. Whoa! And there, a nice golden. Upper rack, about 15. There, set the timer, that's wasting your time. But anyway, you know what I mean. The 9th of June, 1862, on a summer's afternoon. Have a nice time. Enjoy your brune. Celebrate the two.